And the first thing that we're going to talk about is, drum roll. The Titanic Museum. That was the day we arrived. Yes. And that was the number one thing on my list to do, was Titanic Museum. Yeah, and I think it was probably the number one on my list um, to do as well. And I will, I will tell you this, the Titanic Museum did not disappoint. That's, those were my words. I was going to say that. Exactly. Oh, okay. Go ahead. It did not disappoint. It didn't. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my way. Every single day, I'm gonna make something great. That's my, that's my way. Hey everybody, I'm Chris. And I'm Chris. And we are tripping with the Chris's. So welcome back. Hey, one thing, please remember to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Figured I'd do it early this time instead of late, so if any of you guys don't watch it all the way through, at least I get that part out of the way. Catch you in the beginning. That's it. Um, this week we're talking about Branson, Missouri. And this is the last leg of our three-part vacation series. Summer, summer trip. Summer trip, yeah. Um, and we were coming out of Arkansas into Branson, so we took 65 in. Right into town, wasn't it? Yeah, so last week um, we did the Branson, Missouri KOA. And it's kind of on the other side of town, so we had you have to drive across town, I guess, off of 65, right? Mm-hmm. I will tell you, there's a huge moon. Remember the big moon? There's a huge moon about halfway through town. But that being said, you still have to drive through town, and you still have to drive your trailer through the traffic. Yeah, lots of lots of lights, lots of intersections, but there's lots to see there. I mean, they make it a uh, pretty grand with the the facades of the buildings yeah. along the main strip, if you will. They have a strip there. The so, tourist strip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with lots of museums and activities and. Just things to do. Right. Now, we were only in Branson for th two nights? Two nights. The things that we wanted to see is coming up in this video. Yes. And the first thing that we're going to talk about is... Drum roll. The Titanic Museum. That was the day we arrived. Yes. And that was the number one thing on my list to do, was Titanic Museum. Yeah. And I think it was probably the number one on my list. Um to do as well and I will I will tell you this the Titanic Museum did not disappoint that's those were my words I was gonna say that exactly oh, okay. go ahead it did not disappoint it didn't it no. really didn't it it was so well done it was not touristy or anything like that I didn't feel like yes the building itself is is shaped like the front half of the ship of well the Titanic. It's, it's the actual size Oh, was it? Yeah, I, th I didn't even I know think that. It, I'm pretty sure it's. Well, it was I, only I, it was a part of the ship. Yeah, but uh, it was pretty spectacular. And then once you get inside, it's um, uh, it's replica. Like, they give you earbuds or uh, oh no, it was a little like a little. I can't remember now. It, it, it's just like a little tape recorder thing. You push the button that corresponds to the number on there. You and you push listen, that number. Yeah, you listen, put it up to your you ear. Put it and up listen. to your ear and it, it tells you about it. And I, I will tell you. Um, so the bad part about it is, is that there is in no way any pictures, no filming, no picture taken, no Not allowed. nada, Not allowed. zero zilch. And uh, she'll tell you we we run pretty much by the books. So, and we're not, we're not cheaters. No, and we're not big enough. We're not big enough YouTube people yet to, you know, go, hey, you know, we'd like to film the inside and put it on our YouTube channel and go around. We have zero clout. How yeah, about that? no, no clout, no clout. I will tell you, though, if you want to see the inside 
after you watch our video, there are other videos out there by other YouTubers that have the inside filmed. Yeah. And you can always go to their website. They've got snapshots of yeah. things that you can see. But basically, you walk in and it's it's just so it's set up so well you would think it was brand new but um, yeah they, they keep it very well organized they, very they, clean they tell you about the people that were on the ship and they actually give you a card when you first go in and it has the name of a passenger a real passenger that was on the ship and what class they were and or if they were a crew member even and then I wonder where my card is i don't know but you go through the whole museum at your own pace and there's lots to see. It's fascinating. And then at the end, there's a wall with all the names of the passengers and, and whether or not they survived. And so you find the card you were given that name and you'll find out if that passenger actually survived or not. And you survived, didn't you? I did. Yeah, I did. I was a first class no, passenger. I, was I went female. down with the ship. So the women basically, most of them survived. Yeah. Because they put the women and the children on the on the boats to be rescued. Yeah, so, so when you're... Especially you, the first class. Yeah, so when you read mine... It says that I was a debonair. Debonair. Yeah, I was a debonair dude because I gave my seat up in the boat for a child. Aww. So the child survives and I went down with the ship. Weren't you a crew member? No. No? No, I was uh, Jewish in the third class third section. Third class. Yeah. And they, they do have a section on, a uh, heavy section on the Jewish people that were on the ship. Yeah. They have a whole Holocaust, one section of the Holocaust, and um, the prisons over in Europe. Remember the striped striped yes. suits with the yeah. uh, Star of David on them, and mm -hmm. yeah. So they have um, an actual replica of the actual replica. That sounds funny, oxymoron. So there was a replica of the um, like a hallway of where the rooms were, and you could see. Uh, the passengers rooms the different class levels of rooms and they kind of graduated up so you saw the crew members rooms and then you saw second class and first class and then yeah you're let me just tell you third class was underneath the crew members yeah so i was in the was, bow was, of the ship yeah it was almost like uh, one of those trains that you would you know bunk in and really all it is is a bunk um, they did have like a little bowl with a pitcher of water and you could wash your hands and face in there. But then you had to go down the hall to use the bathroom. But the first class passengers, they had really nice rooms. It was like a hotel room with uh, nice furniture in it. And um, yeah, it was it was pretty, pretty interesting to just kind of wind your way through the hallways and looking at the different rooms. And then you could see... They had a kitchen set up for uh, when they were preparing everyone's food. They even had dishes on display for the, and there were dishes for different classes. So it was fascinating. Fascinating. It was, and, and they have a um, uh, full-size replica of the grand staircase that you got. You actually walk up and walk down to get through the, the first floor to the second floor. Yeah. Which I thought was really cool. Yeah, it was neat. So. Oh, and at the very end of it, too, or near the end, before you find out your passenger's survival or not, they have a bowl of water, and it's held to the temperature that these people were, you know, crashing in. And you could put your hand in the water and time it. They had a little timer, and you could see how long you could hold your hand in that water before pulling it up. I'm not... I don't remember your time. She didn't last but a couple seconds. I was like 15 seconds in, if that long. Yeah. And I mean, my hand was numb yeah, for the next 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah that's about where I it was. It was insane. So no one could have survived those waters. Uh, I don't know how they could have. You would get hypothermia and die pretty yeah. quickly, I would think. Yeah. And then, of course, when you exit the museum, it takes you right into the gift shop. You do. Yeah. So, of course, you got to spend money in there just to get out. Yeah, and then they do the whole photo thing. So, you can buy your photo. Yeah, in there. guess what we did. Yeah, yep. we did that. So, that was that. pretty touristy. Yeah. So, um, 
Go ahead. Then that evening, was there something else you wanted to add no. about the Titanic? No, except for it was amazing. And well, you know what? Here's, I would do here's it again. Your, yeah, here's and here's a here's a nice thing. So we talked about the KOA being centrally located. Man, we weren't but a couple of miles. There's two streets to get to three three streets to get to the the Titanic Museum. Where's the other one? There was two or three in the oh, country in, yeah. in the U.S. Well, let's let's talk about that real really, quick. Really good. There's only two of them out of this group. That's uh, the one here in Branson, Missouri. And then they also have another one in Pigeon Forge. Um, and these two, the two museums swap out artifacts back and forth. Everything that they have in this museum's original, uh, original pieces, either from the ship or from passengers getting off before the uh, Titanic sank, sank, because they made two or three stops on the uh, on the voyage from England. They stopped at a couple, two or three stops before they made it across, uh, did the transatlantic. So. I can't say enough about this museum. It yes. was spectacular. Absolutely. So quality. Very well done. Yep. Very well done. I would do it again in a heartbeat. Yep. Um, so that evening we went to? To the um, showboat dinner cruise. Yes. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, it was an old paddle wheel boat. Right? It is. Yeah, paddle wheel boat. It was pretty neat. So you go, you get on board and you find your table they have people that will guide you there and we had pretty good seats uh we paid up uh for a premium i don't know what the commoners had down below us um but it, we weren't near as packed that's for sure now that being said you don't get involved with the show near as much as you are down in the uh, i don't know in the main pit, seating the area, pit area, the pit area, the main seating yeah, area. Yeah, they're the cheaper seats, but you're up close. Yeah, if that and, makes sense. And we were one level up, and then um, there's but, another but level still, above us. It was still very. I mean, you, you could see everything oh, and everyone. Yeah, it was you're great very. Seats. Everyone's very close to the stage. Yeah, but it was a good old fashioned cruise ship type uh, production. Uh, it was all music. Lots of singing, little skits. Um, Magic, comedy, mm -hmm. singing, dancing. It was highly entertaining. Yes. Highly and, entertaining. It, and it was, uh, what was it, a couple hours, I think? And it was well worth it. It's a, and, and you do leave the dock and you go out around the lake. There's an intermission so you can go up on topside and, you know, look around the lake. And, and do your photographs, yeah. your selfies, and all that good stuff, yeah. which we did. Yeah, we got selfies and all that good stuff. Yeah, that was very enjoyable, and I would also recommend doing that. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, I would yep. do that again. That was fun. Yeah. It was a good time. Yep. Um, the next day. The next day, we did Silver... Silver, Silver Dollar City. Yeah, I can't ever get it right. Silver Dollar City which is an amusement park and it's built on the side of the mountain. Oh yeah. And so and and you know I went for the roller coasters and you know we got there and one roller coaster Well, back up, back uh, up. Whoop, back up. <laughs> what were you going to say? I was going to say when we arrived you kind of you're uphill and then the parking is downhill. And so we parked downhill and had to walk uphill to the entry. Yeah. And then when you get inside, it's flat for a very short distance. And then it's downhill everywhere. And then it's downhill, downhill. It was all around down. Yeah. And some of the spots were super steep, super steep. Yeah. So... And let, let's just say that the day that we went, there's a mine you can go in and they do a mine tour and all that. It was down when we went in there. We got in. There's supposed to be phenomenal roller coasters. So out of the roller coasters, two of them were working. One on one side of the park and one on the other side of the park. We made it to the one on the left side of the park. And there was no line. Got in there, rode it. It was a great roller coaster. 
by the time we got to the other side it was great for uh, of the park <laughs> the line was so long to get on that roller coaster you couldn't there's no way i was standing in a I think it was an hour and a half almost two hours for the roller coaster and the others were all down. Yeah, the, the others were all down, and that's the reason that it, the line was so long on the other roller coaster. Um, and then we waited forever for food. Yes. Yeah, which was mediocre, and they had told us it was pretty good. Yeah, it's amusement. Let's just say it's amusement park food. Yeah, we have. That? Yeah, we have barbecue. Yeah, it was barbecue, and uh, coming from Texas, you know. Yeah, we can't be too judgy about that. Yeah, so, but uh, it was, it was, it was fair. okay. It yeah. was fair. I don't know. It was, um, I'm glad we did it. It was something to do, but I did get a little bit bored, and I don't know. We did, we just didn't, we yeah. went through some of the little gift shops they had there. It was a candy shop, and, no, and we glass watched them, blowing. We watched them blow glass. Then we went in the pottery store and I bought a, p a couple pieces of pottery. Yeah, but nobody was doing any pottery. Nobody was doing any blacksmithing. Um, what rides were open were long because the major rides were down. What was cute about it was the theme of the park. Yes. Was, um, and all the buildings, all the facades, they were like country. West, yeah, it's like Western, old country. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's the 1800s, I guess good way of saying it yeah so that was kind of cute and they had a cave wasn't it a cave tour this yeah with, with uh but, it, but it, it was down when we first started when we first got there it was down and you couldn't do it remember because that was oh, like yeah. the first thing we were yeah. gonna do because that's part of your entrance fee is the mine tour so we're like oh okay well we haven't really got to do anything else let's do the mine tour while the mine tour was like a three hour wait like you get your ticket yeah. and you go back out, and I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that either. I was, I was already wore out from going up and down the hills. It, yeah, it was difficult. Yeah. But the fact that you know, going, you're going up and down the hills trying to get to these rides, and then to find out that they're closed because they're either out of order yeah. or I don't know what. But yeah, we rode a train too, didn't we? Yeah, we yeah. did the train, and that, and the train was the train was fun. And they had a little skit on the train where it stopped. Oh so. yeah. It stopped, and then on the side in the grass, you had like a moonshiner, and yeah, and he was gonna rob the train. Yeah. And he... Well, I am a train robber, so I'm telling you, it's part of the whole resume. The train, and yeah. Then he didn't rob the train, and then, um, so we did that. But I, I won't go back to Silver Dollar City again. I think I had my share. That being said, I don't regret it. No, I don't regret it. And I would say that if you're in there, make that part of your trip because all the roller coasters aren't going to be down. Especially if all you the have time. kids. Yeah. The kids will love it. Yeah. yeah. It really is a nice little park. Yeah. So, I so. and, and I, I can't even tell you how it's been around a long time. And I can't even tell you how long because I don't remember. So, yeah. Okay. So that was all of that day yeah then that night well we got back and we went to dinner with our friends and we we decided we wanted catfish because everywhere you turn there's who had i had no idea there was so much fried catfish in one town yeah in branson everywhere you turn they're advertising fried catfish so i guess that was a big deal there yeah so we found a spot we found a spot and we went and ate at it was called Branson Center Stage Grill. Okay. And then next door they had a coffee house. And in the mornings they would open up for breakfast and coffee. And then in the evenings they, well, they would shut that side down and then open up the other side for dinner. And uh, it was really good. Now, I didn't get the catfish. I don't even remember what I no, had. No, I got the catfish. And the catfish was pretty good. Maybe I grilled, blackened. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I guess it didn't make that big of an impression, but it was it was good. It was yeah. good. So the next day we went to Dolly Stampede, and for dinner we had uh, they give you a small chicken, um, and then uh, vegetables. You get a salad. You get a salad and soup. And potatoes and corn, and yes, there was soup. No silverware no, whatsoever yeah, with this, which is awesome. So the soup was in a cup with like a little handle. And, then and you, you just drink it. Sip on it. Yeah, and that was potato soup. I think you couldn't eat it. You couldn't have the soup. I couldn't have it because no. it wasn't gluten free. Right, right. 
There was so much food. I couldn't eat it all, and I'm a big eater. And I, I don't. And there think, was dessert too. Yeah, and I don't remember what the dessert was. So. Like a brownie, maybe, or. Yeah. I not, don't know. I'm not sure. The um, the show was. I thought the show was very well performed. When you have buffalo that can come out into a stadium, and lay down like they were shot. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So these buffalo come out and they're. they're out of the gate, like in a rodeo, like bulls, right? And then they just stop in place, like they're trained to do. And they just... Lay uh, down, fall over, yeah, like they're it, dead. And it's a different... But it's at different points in the music. Yeah. It's like they're very and, well trained. Yeah. And to see these buffalo live, it was it was pretty incredible. Yeah. And, it, you know, it all had to do with the, the show. And I, I think at that point of the show, it had to do with the westerner or the easterners uh coming into the indian and the buffalo lands and shooting all the buffalo and and killing all the buffalo off which is i think was that part of it um it was very very patriotic there are tons of flags everywhere um they did acrobats on these horses um Lots of, uh, uh, they, they did the, um, there was a lot of singing, a lot of dancing, a lot of horse skills, a lot of horsemanship, um, comedy, a lot of comedy. Yeah. That was funny. And I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed the show. Um, if you have, um, allergies to horses might not be the best place to but go you're right oh, there you. yeah we were we were on, on the, the front, front row, row. Front row. <laughs> so uh the service was fantastic it was the guy that waited on us was just he was johnny on the spot yeah. very very good yeah and he he had like 20 of us i think 20 there was he kept her tea refill yeah very, very good service. Yeah, absolutely. And the food. Was you good. walk yeah. out of there just feeling good to be a, be an American. And I felt that way about all of Branson, really. Well, that's, that's what I was going to say. You know, it really didn't matter where you went in Branson. That Branson, Missouri, it's going to be one of the most patriotic towns I've been into in a long time. Yeah. I'm, it they're just doesn't matter what, uh, at the, um, the showboat, uh, the showboat, uh, was very patriotic. I think both places we did they did the Star Spangled Banner or uh -huh. you know God bless Pledge, America Pledge of Allegiance Pledge of Allegiance flags all over the place. Um, so I thought it was you know that was really neat. Yeah, really really neat. If yep. you ever need a boost patriotism, then go to Branson for sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that was pretty much it. Yep. Yeah, Fast there's, and Furious, again, just like our other spots that yep. we had been to. Yeah, there's quite a few other um, uh, tourist destinations in Branson on the Main Strip that we didn't go to. Um, you know, they've got the Ripley's. They've got, um, oh, I can't tell you how many different little museums and... Uh, there was a wax museum there. Yeah, was the it Madame Tussauds? Yeah, the wax museums and then the camera museum. You know, the... Um, oh, yeah. They just There's car museum. But mm -hmm. the one thing that they have... They have more putt-putt golf, more yeah, putt -putt golf was, courses. Yeah, that was crazy. It's not than, right on the strip, but as you're driving around through town, you know, some of not, the back well, roads. Yeah, but there was even two or three on the strip. So, you know, they're just... And they were packed all yeah, day. Yeah. All day. Every time we drove by, they were all full. So yeah, so... That was a big family, family destination. Yeah, and like campgrounds, if you build it, they will come. Man, in Branson... If you build a putt putt course, they're coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I guess that's pretty much our trip in Branson, Missouri. It covers our trip. It yep. does. Yep. Uh, leaving to get to 65, we had to trudge right through town again. Always an With amazing. With the RV. Yep. Yep. Always an amazing trip. 
driving through the middle of town in heavy traffic. But we weren't the only ones. You could no. say there were lots of RVs yes. coming in and going out. Yep. Yep. So it's a it's a good destination. Definitely one I recommend. Yep. And we'll go back and we'll go back to Branson again and do some and other stop. things. Yeah, it might be a one or two day or you know a one night or two nights. Um, well, it'll definitely be two nights because we've already told ourselves. We'll not stay anywhere for one night unless we're trying to get somewhere in a hurry. Um, and there's a couple other things I want to see there. But, you know, it's one of those tourist destinations that you go just to have fun and drain your brain. So if you guys have any questions or comments, um, please leave them below and drop them below. she'll answer them. I'll okay. try. Yep. Or both of us will give it a shot at answering them. Chris is better at that. Yeah. Okay, until next time, please like. Subscribe. And ring the bell for notification. Yep. Thank you guys for jumping on and giving us your time. Until next week. See you later. Be kind. Bye.